Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's tale, I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something. Uh, sorry. I need to tell you something. A secret about a place near where I live. Just around the corner, actually. You don't have to believe me. I understand that this may sound crazy. All I know is I'll never go there again. Not at night, anyway, for I've experienced what lies in those endless trees. I was 14 then. It, uh, it's, it's taken me two years for me to finally tell someone this and hope that you believe me. I had heard rumors about the woods and my mother had told me never to go in there, not even in the daylight. Mother told me it was dangerous to go in there, whatever the time of day. I always used to defy mom, so I went in there with a couple of friends one night. The walk there was fine. I was eager to go to these so-called dangerous woods. Well, when we reached our destination, my heart had already begun to thump in my chest. The woods looked terrifying at night. I stood horrified amongst my friends, no longer wanting to go inside. The trees towered over us, branches like open arms welcoming us into darkness. It was also too dark to see what lay within them. Not even the moonlight could light up the shadows. I had an uneasy feeling about the woods, so I begged my friends to go home. As you can probably guess, that was not the right thing to do. I dragged them out here to go in there, and now I was the one wanting to back out. It isn't like me to back out of things, but I did not want to go in. So we argued amongst ourselves. They were all against me, thus the decision was made that we go in. And so we went. The next morning, the news spread that a group of 14-year-old boys had been butchered in those woods. I felt nothing for them. I told them I didn't want to go in. I told them I had an uneasy feeling about the place, that I was scared. I remember it so clearly. The four of them had decided to tell ghost stories, just to make my fear that little bit worse. One of them told of a man who lived in the woods, who was a a lover of the taste of the flesh of children. He would ambush them when they were wandering through the woods alone and was, and that's when they all decided at the same time to run off. I tried to chase after them, not knowing which one to follow, trying to track them by their laughter wasn't long before my ears had guided me into some direction or another, and they stopped laughing. Silence surrounded me. I was so scared, I began to cry. It's, I know, not something a 14-year-old boy should be doing, but I was fucking scared. My eyes for some reason would not adjust to the lack of light and I was standing in what seemed like an endless black fog. This was how I pictured hell being. I couldn't stop thinking about that story. I had horrible thoughts of how it would end. And I was convinced in the moment that it was true, that it was real, that that person was here. Terrified, I started a slow jog through the woods. I, I know 
it sounds stupid, but sprinting just makes it feel more scary. I picked up a rather large branch that had obviously been snapped off one of the trees. It wasn't much of a weapon, but it was what I had. It would have to do. And I tried to find my way out. Seemed like I'd been running for ages. Maybe I'd been running in circles. I tried turning around and heading a different way. Well, maybe hours of running and jogging and walking, I, I saw a light through the trees. It was a... I saw a light through the trees. A street light. I gave a sigh of relief and once again sprinted toward the light when something grabbed my shoulder. My heart stopped. I stopped breathing. My eyes were glued on that light. So close. I actually let out a tear. Whatever it was holding my shoulder, it laughed. And then three other people started laughing. It was my friends. <laughs> they continued to laugh and started to jeer. I don't know why I did it. Out of pure anger, maybe fear, maybe humiliation. I gripped that broken tree branch as tight as I could and I beat them to death all four of them. I couldn't see their blood, but I could smell it. And I smiled. You don't have to believe me. I, I understand it. It might sound crazy. Or maybe I am crazy. So stay scary, my wildlings. Remember, to freak out is human, but to chill is divine. And make the most of your nights.